This was shot in Savannah, Georgia. Why was that location the right place? What what did it bring to the feel of the movie? So Savannah is a magical place. Yeah. I mean, if you've ever been yes. everywhere, you point the camera, it's a movie. I yeah. mean, everywhere <laughs> looks beautiful and haunted and enchanting. Yeah. It's just it's just an amazing city. Um and Diane, you know, who we had casted as a, yes. the lead, she's she's very Southern, you know, in her mannerisms and her way of speaking. And I thought, you know, a Southern, uh, you know, small city like Savannah, you know, would fit her perfectly mm -hmm. and would fit the story uh, perfectly of, you know, family and tradition. So so I thought all of that was great. And plus we found, you know, Isle of Hope, which is just eight miles away from <laughs> From I was going to say, it's a real place. Why not shoot there? <laughs> no, so we did. We shot, oh, we shot a lot okay. of the movie in, in, in Isle of Hope, uh, which is kind of a suburb, you know, of, of Savannah, where a lot of people went to escape the plague mm. uh, in the early 19th century. Wow. And, and it has so much history. And I think all that history, you can kind of feel it, you know, yeah. when you're there. Yeah, Savannah's a wonderful city, and it did fit beautifully with the film. Speaking of the cast, Diane Ladd, Mary Stuart Masterson, Andrew McCarthy, Sam, um, not Sam Robard, Jason Robard. <laughs> uh, what did they bring to the film? Because I don't think this would have been the same movie had you cast other actors. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I think casting is 90% of yeah. the movie is, is getting the right cast for the movie, I think. Yes. Um, or ninety percent of directing, they say, is just casting the right actors, right? <laughs> and um, and they were just amazing people. I mean, not just great actors, but just great, you know, storytellers and creative people. Uh, they're so smart. You know, all of them are writers, directors, producers. You know, all three of them, mm. uh, super talented, super successful. Um, you know, I remembered them from growing up watching, you know, their movies. Mary Stewart and Andrew, you know, yeah. I'm a child of the eighties. So, Me too. <laughs> so, you know, the, the Brad Pack movies yes. and John, you know, John Hughes and then all the stuff Mary Stewart Masterson did was was yeah. just great. And yeah. and so I was in awe of them and, and so happy that, that I got a chance to really, you know, work with them and meet them. It's it's hard, you know, sometimes for an actor to take a chance, you know, on a director who hasn't done, you know, a theatrical feature and yeah. a very indie movie that's not a studio film. And you know they're taking a risk. They don't know what you know what they're yeah what they're kind of face you know once they arrive and and they all took that leap of faith in me and they all were so generous you know sharing their their ideas and and their visions and and their stories you mm. know of working with other you know great directors and and other great films and I just we just the whole experience was was amazing. Yeah. And, and Diane, well, yeah. I, I can't say enough good <laughs> things about her. I mean, she's a brilliant actress, three times nominated for Academy Award. Yeah. And um, I wish she could have, would have got the nomination for this one because she's just so brilliant. She, you know, 10 page scenes, she knew them like this, wow. uh, memorized them, had more energy than anybody else in the crew, almost in her 90s now. <sighs> and her mind is works at a million miles per hour we spent the summer together this last summer writing a movie together ah. um and we just have so much fun together she's so great so great i love the scene where she comes out of this amnesia and she just walks into the hospital room to her daughter and is like don't you love it and i mean it, that's just so classic old kind of hollywood and her she's so and, fun yeah. she's so much fun and she made up a little song and dance you know <laughs> that she, she was doing that she's just wonderful you mentioned that you really haven't done a big feature film before so what was this experience like how is it different from working in a tv film um the way we shot it you know was very similar mm -hmm. in the sense that you know it was a small production i worked with a lot of the same crew that that i usually work with okay. um you know the main difference i think might have been maybe the actors uh, a little bit or recognized, but we still, it was a movie that we shot, you know, in three weeks. Wow. Uh, with a super tight budget, mm. which is very similar to, you know, to what I usually do. Um, I think it, I had more creative freedom mm. that, than I usually have. Uh, a lot of the movies I usually do, you know, follow a formula yeah. and uh, there's certain expectations from the audience. And this one, I had a little bit more free reign. It was just about, you know, telling the story the best way. Um, 
and just trying to communicate to the audience, you know. And so in that sense, it was very rewarding. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, I know the film, or I'm sorry, the play does not include the ending part um, and doesn't really include about the the granddaughter, so to speak, which I don't want to give away that part of it. But um, how did you get to that point when you were right when you were adapting the play and thinking, oh, this needs more? Where did that all come from? I think, I mean, at that point, you know, after adapting the first part of the the play, um, the characters kind of started speaking, you know, to me, and and they wanted to, mm. you know, they wanted to complete the story, and I wanted to let them, yeah. you know, keep going and see where that would would take us. So, yeah. so you know, the characters were so well um, created, you know, they, they were so well thought out, and so I just, you know, let them resolve their issues. Plus, I think it's, I wanted to get the satisfaction of seeing, you know, how how all of that concluded. Yeah. And um, and so I just let them speak. You know, I was kind of a stenographer, just <laughs> writing down, you know, whatever they were saying. And um, and it, I enjoyed that part a lot. Uh, that that process. Also, I had more freedom as well because right. I wasn't tied, you know, to the play the whole time. I, you know, I was afraid of doing, I didn't want to disappoint Oscar Martinez, who I also admire greatly, and I didn't want to do something that, that he wouldn't like, and I was so concerned about that, and, and he loved he loved the script, and he loved the movie. Oh, he great. had very high praise of it, and I'm so thankful for it, because, um, you know, as a writer myself, I, yeah. I don't want to destroy somebody else's work, you know. It's a very tricky line, absolutely. Yeah. So now that you've done all of this, what have you learned about yourself as a writer slash director and personally in your personal life? Uh, have, what did you learn from making this? That's a good question. I haven't really <laughs> <laughs> put haven't a lot dissected of, it yet. <laughs> I haven't put a lot of thought into it, but I, I think I I learned a lot about you know just technically as a director about working mm. with actors. Mm. Um, about listening to actors, and and I've worked with a lot of actors, but again, maybe not of this of the same prestige as yeah. you know as, as these actors. But um, I learned a lot, you know, about collaboration, um, and also being flexible and open, you know, to the moment. The the movie uh, we shot it right in the middle of COVID, oh. and the first day we were supposed to shoot, Mary Stuart Masterson tested positive <gasps> for COVID. So my dad was still sleeping in the room. I had to redo the whole schedule, oh, no. call Diane quickly not to travel to Savannah. She was on, getting on a plane. Oh, I said, my don't gosh. get on the plane. Um, we had to, you know, redo all the locations. Wow. And um, I kind of, you know, changed a lot of the plan that we had. And, and I think that flexibility is very important yeah. uh, when you're working, especially in a small production like this. Yeah. Um, and I learned it. Sometimes it's for the best. You know, everything that happens is for the best if you can learn from it and, yeah, um, absolutely. and learn to roll from it. So it was great. Even your failures are a success if you learn from them. Absolutely. Has this changed your relationship with your own children? With my children? My children are, are pretty young. Um, so, and I'm very close to them. But uh, but I try, you know, to, to be very close and to have very open communication um, with them. I, I think it's important not to leave things unsaid and I think that's what the movie talks about. It's about all yes. these things that we never talk about and we never say Yes. And um, until it's maybe too late. And this movie gives uh, the character of Victoria, played by Mary Stuart Masterson, gives her an opportunity to say a lot of the things that she didn't say and, and look back at her life. You know, when Carmen, Diane's character, mm -hmm. wakes up thinking it's 15 years in the past. Yeah. Um, and so she gets another chance, you know, at that relationship, which is great. I think it also gives her a chance to see her mother's decisions that she didn't see previously in a new light because it affected her own life. Yes. Yeah, so I think that was absolutely wonderful. I think the film is phenomenal. Like I said, I, it could have gone on longer, even with the ending the way it was. But um, I, I just, I think so many people will learn from this. I think so many, it will resonate for so many people, especially those that have lost loved ones that regret not saying certain things. So 
Thank you so much for your time, for the film, for everything. And I can't wait to see how audiences react to it. Thank you. Thank you. And, and please go watch it. Yeah. It's a small movie. We made it with a lot of love. And I think you'll <laughs> enjoy it a lot. So thank you so much. Thank you.